Several people have asked me if I can do a demonstration on PowerPoint. Um, and I was a bit reluctant at first because there are so many varied versions of PowerPoint. The one you see in front of us at the moment is um, PowerPoint 2007, which I believe is still current. Um, additional ones are the uh, PowerPoint 2003, uh, and also the Impress, which is comes from which comes from Open Office. So I've decided that I'll do a very very quick demonstration without any too much fancy glimmer. Um, um, we'll call this just how to make a PowerPoint demo in PowerPoint 2007. And a little subtitle here which we can say um, how to add animation and color. One of the, one of the things about um, PowerPoint is that you have all the time in the world to create them. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail on individual ones because if you want to uh, if you want to do a really big presentation you want plenty of colors and plenty of action on the screen while you're doing your presentation there are many different um, presentations available on YouTube if you've got the internet and you're capable of um, going to YouTube and type in PowerPoint presentations and if you want to add an extra bit there PowerPoint presentations in the version that you have so that would be PowerPoint 2003, 7, 10, 30 whatever it is. Um, some of us will be using the free open office um, in press and if you go to the uh, internet on YouTube and search for uh, how to use impress uh, presentations or how to create impress presentations anyway not going into too much detail but uh, here we are here's our title I've got similar ones here we are this is in 2003 the one we've just created and this is one in impress uh, all very simple they're just straightforward typing so far um, if we have a little image um, we can add, insert um, a picture from file. Right, and in this case, my uh, file is on the desktop and it's image one. There it is. Obviously, it's far too big for this page. Whoops, what am I doing? What am I doing? I'm turning it. Um, we need to shrink it right down. There we go, and put it down at the bottom here. And that is adding a nice little bit of colour to the screen. Maybe so, you say, but I would like to have a be better background. Let's do that as well at the same time. So what we need to do is look at our top bar here and look at the tools. I'm sorry, the format. And we can click on a slide design from the format menu. Um, master pages, we'll use this one because it's quite... Um, it's quite gentle and these come up on the right hand column um, we'll just move this around just a fraction there we go move that up to there move it across into the center there we go this is just trying literally clicking on the square we want to do to manipulate and we'll get the handles up um, if we click on again we can click in the corner sometimes we can get the uh, handles to turn for us this is in the later editions by clicking again we should be able to resize oops gone too quick for myself we can resize this and move it this way and that's by literally I'll do it again clicking once and going to the edge and we'll click once should give us the resizing border if we click again it'll give us the rotating border not difficult to use we can do some quite fancy things with it have it upside down if you wish 
Whoa, take it off the screen if you wish. Just bring that back into line. So there we go. That that's just in this particular version. Very clever. And whoops. Oh, I must have wonky eyes or something. There we go, that's near enough. So there we are, we'll put our picture underneath there. Very straightforward. What I want to do now is just highlight this bit of text here. And I'm going to see if we can add a little bit of animation to it. And that is, again, custom animations. We want to add one. Um, I don't know what would be good here. Let's have it... Um, Let's have it circle. Right, that's it. Nice. Um, speed, we'll have it slow. Okay, like that. Um, add a different uh, coloured lettering. There we go. We'll add that. Slow. Okay. And um, we can have a look by playing the slide. Here we go. Click on it once. There we go, with how to add animations and colour. And you'll see that it's got little changes. It's different and it's simple to do. So that's the one in Impress. Again, I'll recap this and, and by the time... By the time we're finished, you'll have seen it three times anyway, so don't worry if you miss anything the first time. The one thing I have noticed is that all three programmes are pretty much the same. So let's pop across to um, the 2003 PowerPoint. Once again we'll, we'll choose a nice um, design. So what we need to do is go to our uh, format menu and slide design. You'll see that the panel on the right hand side here changes. We'll keep some simple colouring um, which is just literally clicking on one of these on the right hand panel. Right, whichever one you feel comfortable with is the one we can use. There we go. We'll stick with that one. I'm not um, not too fussy. There we are. I like that one, actually. We'll stick with that. So we do the same again. We can click and we can move our titles up a little bit. Um, once again, this is an earlier version. And I don't think we can actually rotate um, the animation as it is. We can do the animation, um, sorry, yeah, we can do animations again. Um, which we can bring in a bounce. There we go, that's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Um, oh, we can do an arced title. Like that. Grow and exit. Whoa, that's nice. Leaves us with a pretty much empty page. Um, Plenty of nice design work there. Um, on this one here we can highlight that. That's the one we want to use and we can uh, we can dissolve it in whatever that looks like. There we go. That's okay. We'll see it as a slideshow. Dissolved in. Maybe the first one was a bit more uh, impressive. So we'll do the bounce. There we go quite like that. That's quite impressive. So again that's just a few clicks of the mouse on the page to create this effect. Um, we we'll go to the final one in the trio which is how to make a PowerPoint demo in PowerPoint 2007. Same idea this time we'll have a different background. If you look at the tabs at the top here on the ribbon we'll see this home insert design. Well design's the one we want and again as we go over these They'll change accordingly so you get an idea of what they're like before you apply them. Um, quite like that one, so we'll click on that. Um, again, we get this um, boxing window that we can move around. I'm not sure whether we can rotate on this. Maybe not. If we do, I'm sure some. If you can rotate, then I'm sure somebody will tell me. Um, so there we are again. We can highlight that to put it into a animation. So we click on the animations tab. Um, so 
some quite unique um, unique features here so we can actually uh, do that and then after about three seconds it will take take effect let's do something more drastic there we are and it, this is literally clicking on the buttons uh, how to add an animation and color um, there we go let's have a look see what this looks like um, slideshow from the beginning it's very simple and very quick in all three um, what I'm trying to say I think in all three is that there is your uh, presentation and it's quite simple to uh, add a new slide and do the same again and differently um, the same applies to uh, the PowerPoint 2007 uh, view um, can't see where it is on here there it, there it is sorry it's insert and we can insert a new slide somewhere oh, there it is it's on the home menu so we'll have yeah well, just another one the same as we've already got so that's on the home menu a new slide one of the things about doing three different um, demonstrations at the same time is you forget what you actually where things are. So here we go. Insert again um, a slide or a duplicate slide. We'll just have another slide. And once you've filled in the details again, you can run the animation um, by clicking on slideshow or view slideshow, view presentation, whatever. It's um, There we go. How to use Impress. How to add animations. This is stuff we've created very simply. And there we are. That's the end of the presentation. And it's also the end of this very brief tutorial on how to use presentation. And I think the overriding thing for all three of these different uh, packages is that the best thing to do is get stuck in and try it for yourself first. And secondly, once you've tried it and you want a little bit more knowledge, go on the internet and search for YouTube presentations because they are blow by blow, slow and methodical. Thank you for listening and I hope you've enjoyed this, albeit just a little bit uh, confusing at times.